Hi. In this little um, demonstration, I want to show some things, some tips that can help uh, people if you have problems with your rigging. And specifically, uh, the issue here is that you might have more bones uh, being controlled in your actions than you think. So here in this character, I have the root bone that I want to move up and down, and I've got the feet with target bones. And the expectation is that the knees should bend as I move the root bone or the hip up and down. And see, so that, that works sometimes, but notice sometimes it doesn't. Uh, now, uh, the first point you need to be aware of, if you're rigging to get this kind of action, you need to make sure that the bones have at least a slight angle so that they know the direction to bend. But it doesn't have to be a large angle, and these have enough of an angle uh, in order for this to work because I've been able to get it to work in, in other cases. The real problem in this situation is that I've got some bones um, that are being controlled in an action that I didn't mean to. So as an example, let me go to the eyes angry and sad action. So I was creating that in order to create, uh, manipulate the face, but it actually affected some of the, the legs. So if I double click on that and bring up the action, now notice I've got some colored bones. Don't worry about that. But underneath the main line, watch what happens when I click on a bone. So in here, the uh, uh, lower leg. Notice that this red bone comes up and that's showing that we actually have an action that's being associated with, you know, there's a keyframe associated with that bone and there shouldn't be. So I can delete that one right there. And that takes care of uh, that bone for this particular action. Now I have some color-coded bones and the only bone that should be for this eye action here, the eyes angry sad, the only bone that should be affected is this eyes angry sad bone. Um, so clearly the purple and yellow, I can delete those keyframes. But just in general, let me show you a better way because there's some other bones that are red. Let me show you in general how I would deal with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a bone tool and then I'm going to press Control A. So now all of the bones are selected. But uh, I don't want to select the eyes angry sad because that that bone is actually the one that I want to keep so I'm gonna press control and then click on that bone now every other bone is selected and what that means is under here when I look at this red bone here those bones those keyframes I can delete because I don't want any keyframes associated with the selected bones and I'm gonna press delete here so now we can see that the only bone that I have affected it notice that it got rid of the purple and the yellow and the only bone that's being uh, ha has keyframes is this eyes angry sad bone now that takes care of part of it but um, what I would if I still have problems I would go through the other actions and make sure that they are uh, have the keyframes that they're supposed to so as an example for the expression, I want um, all of the facial expression bones um, to be have the ability to control so they could have keyframes, but I've selected every other bone. None of the bones in the body should be affecting anything, so they shouldn't have any keyframes, and I notice that I do, so I will get rid of those. And I have those bones selected, so the same kind of deal would be true for the sad expression, so I just go to the sad expression and again, again, get rid of the keyframes for the selected bones and continue doing that for all of the expressions. And just check to make sure that we don't have any of these extra keyframes. And I continue that process for all the different actions that I have associated. And once I've done that, then things will work properly. So that's how to check and uh, remove uh, unneeded or extraneous keyframes.